I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is August 26, 2017. And in this video, I'm going to be going over the drive speed of the default drives on a new Asus GL753VE laptop I just bought. Okay, so I just bought this laptop, and I kind of want to see what the the speed of the default hard drives are on it. Now, I'm going to replace them, but I kind of want to see where I'm at just at a get-go, just to give myself a baseline. Now, overall, this should be a big improvement what I currently have. What I currently have is just an SSD drive on a six-year-old laptop that seems to be running about half speed for some strange reason, and then just a normal, well, a nice secondary hard drive, two gigs, but it's not an SSD or anything special. Now, out of the box, if you look at the specifications here, I should have a one terabyte, probably a 5400 RPM or 7200, I'm not sure, uh, for my secondary drive. And then for my main drive, it is, uh, it, this one particularly comes with a 128 gig SSD drive. It, it is plugged in as a PCI M2, what do you call it, M2? Uh, but it's, it's a PCI capable, I believe, but I, that's not what I have as a default. A default, I have an SSD drive. So it should be a lot slower than what potentially could be. Uh, but if I go and look at what I currently have, let me show a few things. So if I bring in here, you can see that, yeah, there is my hard drive. It's 128 gigs. Here's my other secondary hard drive. It's about a terabyte. And then if I bring in, where's my device manager? My device manager, I brought that in. And you can see here's my drives. I have a SAN disk, and there's the model number. So I went searching for this. And also, here's the model number for the uh, secondary drive, which is not quite as important, but it's still important. Uh, so I went looking for this, and I couldn't quite find... I did find one, but I found one that was close. And looking for that on SanDisk, I came across this page. And on here, we can see that the 128 gig has a speed of about 546 and then 342. And this is not the same one, but I think it's close to the same one, because this one's more of a commercially available one. Um... And with that, I ran, used Crystal Disk Mark speed test to run against it. And I ran it before I started taking this video because I wanted to get it as fast as I possibly could. And with that, I was getting 528 and 185s. And so the, the, um, the read speed is really close to what this is. The write speed, not so much. Um, but overall, better than what I have. But it's just, even though it is in the form factor of, what's it called, M2? Yeah, M.2. Uh, it's still just an SSD in this case, even though it can do PCIe, uh, which I'm going to replace it with a PCIe, but I want to start here and see where the baseline is. The baseline is, you know, a little over 500. And just to show that this number is accurate, I'm going to rerun this and record it uh, for this video right now. Okay, so you can see... Um, on the second test, it was affected a little bit because I am recording this video to the same drive. So I went from, what, 528 to 515. And my write speed's about the same. I was about 185. Um, let's see. And we had 521 went down to 480, so that's a big jump down. Uh, 183, 184. So, you know, a little bit of a hit, but not too bad while I'm recording. So that's this drive. And so overall, um, pretty good for an SSD, uh, but not so good for if what I want to go up to is to a PCIe. Uh, now, on the second drive, I looked it up the data sheet and found this guy. And it's a Seagate, and what are you? There you are. It's a, I think it's this 035. There we go. So there's an 035. There we go. And so it looks like up to 140 megs for the transfer rate, but I think it's actually going to be a lot lower than that. So. I don't think there's any, any reason to stop filming and, and just do it raw because I don't think it's going to be too effective because I'm not recording to that disk. Uh, so I'm just going to rerun this test right now on the D drive. Okay, so there we go. So not quite to the 140. I'm getting 130, 111. So not too bad. Um, Going to probably buy one that's going to be a little faster, but not by much. I'm going to try to get a two terabyte hard drive to replace this. Um, I'm not quite at the price point where I can buy a two terabyte SSD. Uh, so it's probably going to be another spinning disk. Uh, but for the main one, I am going to replace it. Um, and what I will... Well, anyway. So there's the speeds. Out of the, the default uh, the default drives that come with the GL753, we're getting 528 for the SSD drive. We're getting 103 
for the um, regular drive, the spinning drive. Um, now what I'm going to replace it with eventually here is I'm probably going to replace it with uh, the Samsung Pro 960. And this should bump me from 500 to hopefully, let's see what the speeds are here, 3500. So we might go from, you know, 500 to 128, 500, 185 to hopefully 3000, 2000. That would be a big speed increase. So that's my plan. And but uh, that shows you what I have out of the box. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Patman Denver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.